welcome all in this video we are going to talk about the application of the weird lambert's law and its drawback and its drawback okay so lambert's bayes law uh, is applied to determine uh, for our purpose we are going to restrict one, only for one application to determine the concentration of the unknown absorbing substance concentration of the unknown absorbing substance when we uh, when you are going to use a standard uh, uh, standard known concentration of the another i mean absorbing substance okay we are going to compare both the uh, absorption of the standard and the unknown to find the absorption i mean to find the concentration to find the concentration of the unknown uh, i mean unknown concentration actually it should be unknown concentration so we have already done this in the determination of the iron uh, in the spectrophotometric method in our uh, laboratory same application but there we have plotted we have taken the absorbance uh, of the uh, of the five or six uh, different uh, five actually five two ppm four four ppm six ppm eight ppm and ten ppm of the known uh, concentration iron and uh, we complexed with the thiocyanate and then we have plotted uh, that in a graph and uh, we also uh, developed the color of the unknown concentration and we uh, plotted that unknown with the against the known and we found out the concentration of the unknown okay same thing we are going to do it over here so first we will take uh, the known concentration as yes the symbol we will take it as yes so let absorption of the known concentration would be equal to epsilon okay uh, epsilon we have already uh, talked about molar absorptivity coefficient molar absorptivity uh, coefficient okay epsilon concentration known concentration and x so remember we are not going to change the uh, we are not going to change the thickness of the solution we are going to keep the thickness of the this is the path length normally thickness is nothing but a path length the cell which in which we are taking the uh, solution is the path length okay uh, so uh, if i if i uh, rearrange it c a s by c s so did i put s x over it should be s c s is equal to epsilon x so a s is equal to uh, epsilon c s that is concentration of the known we are taking s as the known okay s as the known concentration the subscript will be using s as the known concentration c s c s x so for the unknown for the unknown let u be the unknown let u be the unknown then a u that is absorption of the unknown will be equal to epsilon c u into x or c uh, a u by c u is equal to epsilon x so epsilon is not going to change uh, x is not going to change epsilon is the uh, molar absorptivity coefficient of a particular uh, substance okay which is not going to change so when i compare 2 and 1 so the epsilon x will cancel out so we will have a s or i will put a u by c u is equal to a s by c s or c u is equal to a s C U if I take C U over here, I, then it should be A U by A S into C S. So C U I am taking over here, so C S will go over here. So the absorption of the uh, from the absorption of the known and the unknown, the concentration of the unknown can be found out with this equation. So C U is equal to A U absorption of the unknown divided by the absorption of the standard into the concentration of the standard will give you the concentration of the unknown okay this is one of the uh, application of the beard lambert's law to find out the concentration of the unknown solution to find out the concentration of the unknown solution uh, there's a there are certain limitation of the uh, lambert beard's law limitation 
limitation of lambert's or uh, bees lambert's law or lambert bees law so first application first limitation is that it is not obeyed it cannot be used cannot be used for polychromatic light polychromatic light i think we have discussed about the monochromatic and the monochromatic light in the uh, last uh, video monochromatic means uh, when it has only one wavelength polychromatic means when it has uh, when the light contains more than one wavelength okay so and also it is not applicable to concentrated solution it is not applicable to concentrated solution it is only applicable to dilute solution it is not applicable to concentrated solution okay concentrated solution basically uh, if the absorption goes above one then uh, it is not uh, it is not useful the third limitation is it cannot be used for suspensions so it cannot used for suspension because suspensions can uh, di uh, diffract the light so you won't get the absorption correctly so sometimes the absorption may be more sometimes the absorption may become less so it is not applied it is not applied for suspensions suspensions and also you can't use the lambert beer's law when it has impurities when it contains impurities sometimes the impurities may absorb a radiation so uh, you can't use the uh, Lambert's Beer's law or absorption uh, in for the Im impure uh, solution. Okay, if the solution contain if the solution contains impurity, impurity, it cannot be used. When the solution contains impurity, it cannot be used. Next one, if, the, if, the, if there is a chemical reaction that goes into the solution, like polymerization or dissociation, if, if you are going to add a solvent into a uh, solute uh, and the solvent and the solute reacts, or the solute in the solvent reacts to form polymerization. So, when there is a reaction happening, it cannot be used. In the solution, the law cannot be used. So these are the limitation of the uh, Lambert's Beer's law. Basically, it cannot be used for polychromatic light. It cannot be applicable for an. It is not applicable for a concentrated solution. When suspension is there, it cannot be used. They, uh, then the solution should be clear for the uh, for the uh, solution to obey and Lambert's Beer's law. The solution should be clear. There should not be any suspension. If the impurities are present, if the impurities are present, then the uh, Lambert's Billard's law cannot be used. Okay, uh, if the reaction is happening in the solution, then the Lambert's then this law cannot be used. Okay, these are the drawbacks of the uh, Lambert Beer Lambert's law. We will meet in the next video uh, with UV visible spectroscopy. We will talk about the uh, the theory of uh, UV visible spectroscopy in the next video. See you then. Bye.